Hello and welcome to uh, Civil 3D Field to Office Procedure Tutorial. I'm going to show you how to import a field book file and um, commence the processing of um, unlocking points, um, exploding survey figures and datum shifting um, and rotating, um, all being necessary uh, when in, out in the field and uh, having to run the file. Now, first of all, we open up Civil 3D and you'll note in the tool space, we have uh, Prospector, Settings, Survey and Tool Space. Uh, to import a field book file, we need to have the tab Survey um, highlighted and you'll see that we've got um, information just regarding our survey databases, which is how we actually import the field book file. So we actually need to create a um, first of all, we need to um, set the working folder and uh, the, this would be set to your job number and the folder civil 3D under the job number here. This is actually a um, sample. So I've got mine set to sample CAD files. I'm going to just simply click OK and now I'm going to create a new local survey database. This would be your job number. You'd probably put the job number and, and possibly the date in there. I'm just going to call this um, sample um, D and L for sample detail and level. Click OK and you'll see that the sample D and L um, file and its structure has been set up. Um, next we actually want to import the field book file. We can do this two ways, either right click on import events, import survey data or go simply up to and the home tab, simply uh, next to tool space, click on import survey data. Here um, you'll notice you, you may have many survey databases in here. Um, I've only got one, but you may have keep these um, from job to job. Um, and now simply we can click next and we need to locate that field book file, which is in my sample CAD files. Yours will be saved, exported from the jigger and saved in your job number um, under Civil 3D and click Open, click Next and we need to create a network. I call this the same as the um, database, so sample D and L, click OK, click Next and here you've got the import options. It should all be set up to run straight away but just go through it a little bit. Um, we don't really want to see the interactive uh, graphics um, it's reading from our uh, the, fi uh, the figure prefix database as a CMS codes, which has already been set up, as well as the line work code set within the template that one has been set up. And uh, what it does, it will then um, put what the code is to what's in the template, and it will have it how it's all been sort of set up. There's probably about 300 uh, different codes we've been set up. We can also add a offset to point identifier. So you could actually add a number with your points as they come in. So if I click here, yes, I, this is, would be set up to add 5,000 um, to every point. So um, you can actually add an offset number uh, to all. I, I just want to have the exact point numbers of what was taken in the field um, for this. Generally, we would have this structure um, for every single um, importation. And next we'll click finish. And this is the raw data now, straight running field book file straight into Civil 3D. Um, what we first of all need to do, if I click on a point, you'll notice that I cannot highlight any information regarding its easting, northing or elevation. This is all the points are locked and to unlock them so we can edit them simply right click on the sample D and L uh, field book file, go to points and click unlock in drawing. Now that's unlocked all the points. You see that I've, I highlight the point now. I can actually change any of the information in there. Next I want to actually, if I click on a line, strung into survey figure. Now these are also locked and will not move unless I explode them. And you'll see down in the tool palettes to turn those on and off. Simply go home. Up here's the tool palettes. 
and you have properties here. So I'll click that back on and then you'll notice in the survey tab there's explode survey figures. I just simply click that. That has now exploded all my figures from survey survey figures to 3D polylines. I now have done my pre-calcs and I know that I need to datum shift this minus 93.506. So we want to um, push all the points and everything with it, lines, the whole job. We want to datum shift it by that much. And to simply do that, you go into your survey tab and you'll see global datum shift. If I click on that, selected all my information, everything I want, and it's asked me that I want to move this from 000 to 00, zero and I'm going to chuck in the um, the negative minus 93.506 and then you'll notice if I just zoom into the numbers here 93.506 and hit enter the numbers have all been changed now by that amount everything has moved down lines points the whole job lastly um, on the editing of of bringing it in for that datum shift i know that i have to actually rotate this job um, after my i've done my calcs uh, minus eight degrees six minutes 24 seconds so again to do this in the survey tab we've got a global rotate i simply click this it'll unlock everything it'll then select everything and it'll ask you for a, ro a, a base point for your rotation so I could just choose anywhere. So if I just choose this RSN, click there. Now it's asked me for the rotation. So I can type in minus 8 D degrees, um, 0, 06 and 24 seconds. And now if I just zoom out and I click enter, that has rotated the whole job. And now all of my Points and lines are to the correct AHD and rotation.